Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Advanced WordPress Theme Development. In the previous video, we looked at using the get search form function to create this search form. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to customize that form. So if you remember from the previous video that when we looked at the core functionality of get search form, it basically looks for a search form.php. It tries to attempt to locate the search form.php and uses that for the search form uh, as an output to this function, uh, if it exists. So let's go ahead and do that since we are going to create a custom one. So I'm going to do search form.php. Okay. So now if you just say echo hello, you'll notice that it just says hello. Why it says hello is because that's what this function does. It basically tries to locate the template search form.php and just outputs that. So OB start, OB get clean and just outputs that, right? That's not what we want. We want our custom one. So remember that we had un we had commented this out. So I'm going to bring this in and I'm going to go ahead and paste it here. So custom search form and then I'm going to paste that here. Okay. And then I'll take a look as to how does WordPress, what are the, what are the attributes WordPress uses for its search form, right? So if we take a look at this one, it says role equals search. So let's use that. So we use that there and then method equals get method equals get action equals echo home URL. So we have action equals PHP tag echo escape URL and then home URL. Okay. And then for the input, we have the placeholder available. So we can say We can say echo escape attribute because this is an attribute and then ex escape attribute X. So this function, basically, if you take a look, is going to translate the text as well. So you put the text, the context and the domain, right? So we'll say search and context is going to be placeholder. And then the third option is a domain. Domain is Equila. So we got that. And then we should wrap this inside of quotes. There you go. Let's see what else. Uh, so we've got placeholder. We need value and we want get search query inside of the value. Let's do that. So the value equals PHP tag. And we can see instead of using get search query, we can use the search query, which is going to just echo it out rather than we saying echo get search query. And we also have to give name to this input. So we, the name is actually S name equals s okay all right so that's our input we also want to go ahead and make edits to our button so type equals submit and i'm just going to use this as the value of that okay escape attribute x search context submit button and you can put the text domain which is optional but you can put it aquila Okay, so that's your button type equals submit. Brilliant. Have you missed anything? Let's just verify. We got that. Okay, good. 
I think it's good to have the screen reader text also uh, because this is going to be good for the screen readers. So let's add that there. And we can always wrap. All right, we have added that there. And just going to cut this one. Echo. And then let's use the same thing. So we go over here and we put the text domain, which is Aquila. Okay. So now the entire search form is under our control. Go ahead and make the edits you want. It's completely under your control. Okay. So let's go back onto the front end and refresh. There you go. That's our search form. And we have to echo out this over here. Let's do that. Perfect. So now you can see you've got the search form. We've got the search options here. And basically, We've got the entire same markup that we had earlier and we have added whatever information we needed to add. All right. You can go ahead and make edits to whatever information you want, like search post. You can put placeholder search post. Now this becomes search post over here. So you can you have like total control onto the search form uh, inside of this search form.php. OK, uh, please do not make edits directly to this uh, general template.php. Do not touch any of the core files. WordPress has provided us with hooks and different options like this where you can custom where you can customize your search form. All right. Awesome then. Uh, so I hope you did like the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And uh, do start my repository like all the beautiful 202 people have. And uh, please follow me on GitHub. My GitHub handle is Imranit Sayyad. And follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is Coditech. All right. So in the next video, we're going to create a custom search page. Okay, so I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much.